Hello everybody, it's Christy from Ohio. I was thinking that we weren't gonna be going live because it was telling me it was redirecting, so sorry about that. This is Christy from Ohio coming to you tonight live. It's Savory Keto Kitchen Night. You can also call me hashtag Sassy Keto Queen. That's where you can go and find all things keto, all of my recipes, all the ones from the past. You can go over there, hashtag Sassy Keto Queen, and you can find them there. You can also go over to YouTube. I have a YouTube channel with all of my um, recipes over there as well. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's called Cooking Keto with Christy Hacker. So you can go there as well. When you hop on, make sure you're saying hi, hello. Let me know where you're coming in from. And I just ate a piece of bacon and I'm spitting it everywhere. Um, let me know where you're coming in from. Let me know if you're catching me live or on a replay. And if you want to catch me as soon as I go live, make sure you tap my nose. Three buttons up there on the top and you'll get notified as soon as I go live. We are making cheeseburger soup tonight. So, I was eating the bacon because I love fried bacon. Doesn't that look amazing? Um, I just have the uh, Oscar Mayer bacon. I already fried it up in the pan, drained it. It's on the plate, ready to be topping for our soup once it's finished. Um, I had one of the big long beefs and I needed a pound of beef. So I, um, yeah, it's a pound of ground beef. So this is just the, I think this is uh, the 80-20. So I am going to uh, use that as well. We have that in our pan. We're going to get this going. I was going to fry it up just a little bit so that we wouldn't have to be on here for days letting this fry, but hopefully it'll fry up fairly quickly. Um, it is telling us to add two tablespoons of butter. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter to my uh, hamburger to fry it up. Never done that before, but we shall see. Hello, Alicia. Thanks for hopping on. Make sure that you're smashing that share button down there, sharing this to your wall so you can save it, so that you can make it. Sharing it to groups, keto groups, low carb groups, any kind of groups that would love this recipe. And um, make sure that you are letting me know that you shared in the comments below because I have a drawing on Sunday uh, that you can get entered into. If you tag a friend, make sure um, that you let me know that you tagged a friend. Um, and you will also get into, that will be a second uh, for the drawing. So you can get two entries into the drawing. First for sharing, second for tagging. So, we have our hamburger over here going with two tablespoons of butter in here. I have to use my handy dandy little smasher here because I have to have it pretty finely chopped up. I don't like big huge chunks of hamburger. So I'll get it all chopped up. Hopefully it's not going to take too long. It says about five minutes for it to brown. Hi Kathy, thank you for sharing. Hi Laura, thank you for sharing. Uh, Raquel, thank you uh, for uh, hopping on. I appreciate you being on here. So it tells us to cook our um, meat and it says um, to cook it on high for about five minutes. So I forgot to get my strainer out. Don't want to forget the strainer. I'll get a little bowl to set it on top so we can strain and make sure that we get everything strained. Cheeseburger soup, yes, that is what we are having. Um, I It has 13 ingredients, so not very many ingredients. I already cooked up the um, bacon. It told me to cut it into little strips, so I took my scissors and I just cut, cut, cut. And so I have that all ready. We have our hamburger cooking, hence the cheeseburger. We have it cooking with some butter. I'm a little surprised that there are no onions in this um, recipe. That was a little surprising to me because cheeseburger to me kind of has um, onions, but there is none. Thank you, Tammy, for sharing. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jean, for sharing. Um, so I will get everything else ready so that when we are finished with our burger, we can just plop it in there. Um, we are going to be using Philadelphia cream cheese. You know that I love me some Philadelphia cream cheese. Thank you, Barbara, for sharing. I appreciate that. Thank you, Jean, for sharing. I appreciate that. 
Sharing is caring. And I love when you share and I love when you message me and you say, I've made this dish. That is so fulfilling to me. So if you decide to make this, make sure that you send me a picture. You send me a message saying that you made it because I absolutely love when you do that. If you've never seen this face before, my name is Christy. I am from Ohio. I am Dirty Lazy Keto. I love to be on here and I love to share my recipes with you. I am on Monday nights and I do sweets night. I am on Wednesday night with sometimes products, sometimes tips, lots of different things on Wednesday night. You never know what you're going to get from me on Wednesday night. And Thursday night is savory night. So this month we're doing everything pumpkin on Monday and we're doing all soups on Thursday. So make sure that you're tapping my nose, three buttons at the top, and you'll get notified as soon as I go live and you won't miss a thing. But if you've never seen this face before, make sure you're putting the word new in the comments below. I can get you into this awesome group. It is has recipes just like this one. Lots of tips, tricks, ideas, no keto police. Lots of men and women on the same journey that we all are on. We are all here to help each other. We are all here to support one another. And this group is an awesome, awesome way to do that. So, make sure that you put the word new in the comments below and I will get you into that group. But if you want to get into that group a little bit quicker, make sure that you hop, hop over and make sure you friend request me. That is very important. We have to be friends. I love to be your friend. I can't wait to meet new people. So, let's be friends. Send me a friend request and that will get you into the group a little bit quicker. I can't wait, Alicia. Um, so... I am going to, we are going to, um, when all this is finished, we are going to use um, some, like I was saying, the Philadelphia cream cheese. This is the best, um, I guess I could put it so you could read it, Philadelphia cream cheese. Um, this is the best kind to use for full fat. So we are going to use four ounces of this, which is half of the block. So I'll get that ready. Get these moved out of the way that open. That's all done. Okay, so it looks like our hamburger is all brown, which was fairly quickly, which is a good, good thing. Okay, get that drained. So we have chopped our bacon. We have fried our bacon. We did that. Then we have melted our butter in the pan and we've done our ground beef. Then we cooked our brown, our beef until it was brown, making sure I'm not missing anything because sometimes I do miss things on here. So then we are going to uh, stir the cream cheese and the tomato paste, mustard, garlic powder, smoked paprika, and salt and pepper. We're going to put all that in and we're going to get that mixed up. So we are doing four ounces of cream cheese. So here's our four ounces of cream cheese. If you love cheeseburgers, give me some heart emojis because we know you got to love cheeseburgers around here. Cheeseburgers are the bomb. I, I haven't had a cheeseburger bun and all in a long time. Um, but I do mine bunless and I do mine as soup. So we are going, oh, that got hot, quick. We are going to um, cream cheese. We are going to do two tablespoons of tomato paste. Here's my tomato paste, it's Kroger. We're gonna do two teaspoons of that. And I got this so hot over here. It's like making my hand all hot. You know me, I'm so messy in the kitchen. So two tablespoons of the tomato paste. I have one tablespoon of just yellow mustard. So we're gonna give one tablespoon of this yellow mustard in here. So that's gonna be our ketchup and our mustard evidently. And our cheeseburger. So we got that. We're gonna do a half of a teaspoon of garlic powder. This is just, again, you know me, I like to buy my uh, things at the Dollar Tree or 
Dollar General or, you know, where we get dollar um, spices. So that's our garlic powder. We are going to do a fourth. This says smoked paprika. Don't know if there's a difference in paprika and smoked paprika. There could be, but I don't have any, so I'm going to do with what I have. You know me. I just go with the flow. A fourth of a teaspoon of paprika. A fourth of a teaspoon of my pink Himalayan salt. You know that I love my pink Himalayan salt. We're going to do a fourth of that. And about a fourth of black pepper. So about a fourth of black pepper. Let's see what else. I think we just mix all of this together. Get all this warm and melty. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it looks like something you would put on a cheeseburger. I forgot I turned it off. So we're going to let that melt. Let's see what else we got going on till it looks smooth. Then we're going to pour in the beef broth and the cream. And then, and we're going to let that simmer. And then we're going to add some cheese. And that's going to be it. 13 ingredients. That's all we have is 13 ingredients. So, tell you what, that burner is hot. Okay. We got all that smooth. Nice and smooth in there. So, it smells good. It kind of smells vinegary. We are going to add our beef broth, which we are putting two cups of beef broth. I just use the Swanson brand beef broth, nothing fancy. So put two cups of that in here. There's one cup. And two cups, so two cups of beef broth. We're going to stir that a little bit. Make it a mess again. You know me. And we are going to put in a fourth of a cup of the heavy whipping cream, which this is just the Land O'Lakes heavy whipping cream. There's a fourth of a cup of it. That was a little more than a fourth of a cup, but that's okay. So... Who else is on here? Make sure when you're hopping on, you're saying hi, hello, because I don't know who's on here until you say hi. I don't know. And pour, simmer, stir in cheese and let simmer for five to seven minutes. Then we're gonna add back in the bacon. So we are gonna put the hamburger back in. It does not tell us to do that, but I am assuming we're gonna put the hamburger back in there. It didn't tell me to do that, but I'm going to do that. And we are going to put in, I just have the shredded cheese. Um, I have the shredded cheese and it's just the sharp cheddar. That's just what um, we had picked up. It is, um, already shredded. I do not shred my own cheese. I usually don't cut my own vegetables. I am lazy and I uh, consider myself dirty, lazy keto. I do not count macros. I just eat 25 net carbs for less a day. So we added a cup of cheese to this and we are going to let this simmer for five to seven minutes. So I will put the timer on. So I'm going to do, I'll do five minutes and see how, how it looks there to me. And then when it's all finished, we are going to add to the top of it our bacon and probably some more cheese. So make sure that you are um, sharing this out and tagging a friend. And if you do so, make sure you let me know in the um, comments below. Thank you, Ashley. I appreciate it. Um, 
Make sure you let me know in the comments below. Make sure you're tapping my nose and getting notified as soon as I go live. If you're new, put the word new in the comments below. And you can always follow me on hashtag Sassy Keto Queen. And don't forget to go subscribe to my YouTube channel, Cooking Keto with Christy Hacker. So, I will see you all on Monday. It is the weekend, and it is a tomorrow is Friday, and the weekend is here. It's supposed to be an okay weekend. Um, Saturday is supposed to be nice. Sunday, maybe. Friday night, a little bit of rain, but that's okay. Uh, we're coming down to the last two weekends of camping, so that's kind of a bummer. But I will see you on Monday night. Uh, for sweets night. I appreciate all of you. I love all of you. Have a great weekend and I'll talk to you on Monday. Bye-bye.